thank you, Father, for the level of glory that was released. We thank you, Father, that we've not seen anything yet. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered the hearts of man which you prepared for those who love you. I pray this morning, Father, you will continue to walk worthy of the calling that you have placed upon our lives. Father, you're not looking for perfect vessels. You're looking for yielded vessels. Vessels yielded to the process. Vessels that will come into alignment. Vessels that will take incentive. Vessels that will step into. Hallelujah. Wait, 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 wait with me just a second. Michael, see, cut there, It is not in and within yourself that you do anything, says the Spirit of the Lord. For it is I that give grace to the humble and I resist the proud. Understand, says the Lord, that in your vessel there are imperfections. But do not forget, says the Lord, that I am the potter and you are the clay. And the Lord says that I will use you in the process of molding you and perfecting you. But the Lord says, let it be known to you that if there is a mar, I will break you and I will build you all over again. But yet you will be used and position yourself for the reality of my glory. For the Lord says, I do not build a vessel to leave empty, but I build vessels that I can pour into you the wine of my spirit. For the Lord says, this is a season where I will pour forth a new wine. Because the new wine will be a wine of potency that's going to reach a generation that's never been reached with the glory of God. The Lord says that I will bring forth a vessel of honor, Vessels that will bring forth and share my glory and the responsibility of my kingdom purpose in the earth. For the Lord says that even when you have went through the cares of life and you have struggled and you have walked through seasons of doubt and seasons of desperation, the Lord says, I have been with you. I have held you by your hand. I have kept you from stumbling even in the times of darkest despair. The Lord says, I am pulling you out and I will bring you into the fullness. The Lord says, even now, there is a suddenly that is coming into your life. You will see a new soil. She called, break forth, break forth. Even this morning, as you praise me, as you stopped, as you praised, you are breaking up the fallow ground, says the Lord. You are preparing the soil for harvest. You have prepared the soil for seed. You are releasing a sound into the atmosphere that will draw a harvest from the east, south, north, and west. I will break in among you that you may break out upon them, says the Lord. I will even send unusual people, unusual characters, in order to accomplish the work that I have set before you. For this work was ordained before the foundations of the world. And the Lord says, do not think it that I cannot clean the slate and start over. I am the Lord and I can do all things. For my purpose is for you. My desire is for you. So I call to you today and say, step up, says the Spirit of God. Align with my will and my word. Bring yourself into the reality of kingdom positioning. And I will show you how to stand. I will show you how to speak. I will teach you how to become what you have dreamed. For the Lord says every dream starts with a seed. It starts with a desire. And every desire will mature and it will grow. Do not allow the enemy to rob what I have placed within you. For even today, says the Lord, I am restoring dreams and I am restoring hope and I am restoring vision. 
Even today, I am removing condemnation. I am removing guilt. For the Lord says, day by day, step with me. Do not be anxious, but walk with me, and I will lead you through the dark times of your life. For America shall break out, says the Lord. America will see my glory. Revival will come into the, the highest of influence of government to the lowest of influence in the government. Men will know that I am God and there is no other. Men will know that it is not Allah that can save them. Men will know that it is I, the Lord your God, that will break out and break upon them. And my glory shall be seen among my people and among this generation, says the Spirit of God. Stand with me just a minute. I want you to lift your hands. Sing a chorus of that, Sandy. Blessing honor, glory, and power to the only, holy, holy, holy one. Blessing honor, glory, and power to the only, holy, holy, holy one. Blessing honor, glory, and power to the only. Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough into destiny, breakthrough out of hope deferred into dreams fulfilled, break out of hope deferred into dreams fulfilled. Hallelujah. She caught the Holy one, blessing, honor, glory, and power to the only, holy, holy, holy one. Tim, as I watch you, I see that over the last five years, specifically, you have identified that you have been entangled in a web. And in this web, you've been struggling to break out of it. And you'll get a hand free, and then you feel like your legs are tangled. And you get a your leg free, and then you feel your other hands back tangled up again. And I see you fighting because this web has been around you since you were a child. But I see it breaking. I see the web breaking. And the enemy has one final attempt. And he's trying to web you back up. But I say in the name of Jesus, it will not hold you bound. Glory and power I just see also that God said as you just went through surgery that he's done surgery on your heart and God's bringing you up higher you sat back and you've been humble God said you said it but you've kept your mouth shut and you've been humble but when God's gave you a word you have given it it's been with such accuracy and, and you've but God says, just as you have surgery in the natural, God's doing surgery in the spiritual. And you're going to have to give place right now to God to let him use you. Let him open the door. Let him do what he's supposed to do in your life. God said he's give, he has given the keys to you. But now it is your responsibility to take those keys and unlock the doors of mysteries of the kingdom. Only you can do it. Only Blessing, honor, glory, and power to the only, holy, holy, holy one. Blessing, honor. 
I see that there is a book that was written about your life. And the only way I can explain it is that there are angels of fire that came and they burned it up and it doesn't exist anymore. And God says, who I've called you to be is now being written. God said, I'm calling you to a fresh level of consecration. Because the Lord says, as I'm preparing you for this season of your life, there must be an accuracy in the prophetic mantle that's upon you. As you preach, it will not be preached from a learned ability, but it will be preached from a download from heaven. Because it will come from the revelation of my spirit, says the Lord. Your heart has been to serve me. But there has been delay that has been set upon your destiny. But the, the Lord says the delay has not been denial. It has been preparation to bring you and your husband into a place of authority, into the city. The Lord says you shall not retreat. You shall come out and you will be a flaming one. One with passion, fire, and desire. Release glory right now. So tall, I'll have to take all sick, I'll have on to the day they are dead around to the basic day. Shake all my mind, the basic at the monte, a sick, a manto, a sick at the monte. My God, there's a fresh wind of opportunity that's about to open to you. It's a door that you've been looking for, but you have wondered, is it going to happen? And God says, I am, I am sitting inside right now. Those who have withstood it and resisted it, where you have questioned and say, I, I, I don't think I can do this. The Lord says that I am going to be able to deal with the hearts of family. He said, the hearts of the king is in my hand, and I lead them whithersoever they go. And the Lord says, I am going to use certain men as pawns on a chessboard in order to position you. For the Lord says that you are a bishop on my playing board. I don't know what that means. The Lord says, you are a bishop on my playing board, and I must be able to move you horizontally down the board in order to position Position you into your calling for the Lord says I've called you to stand before the kings and the queens to be able to position them in a place of safety and refuge so there is a fresh door that's opening to you in order for you to be able to be once again heard because there is a word in your mouth to be heard says the Lord The Lord says straight lines are not going to work for you, son. I'm seeing it as you're trying to bulldoze, you have tried to bulldoze your way straight forward. The Lord says it has not worked that way for you. You are going to have to move diagonally. I'm going to show you how to sidestep your accusers and step into your destiny. And it's not over yet. You are now coming to a place where you're going to have strategy to step into it. Because the Lord says, I am ultimately the one who moves the chess pieces. And you are the player that I have positioned to move you into your calling. I sing honor. Glory and power to the only, holy, holy, holy one. Blessing, honor, glory and power. To the only Holy One, blessing, honor, glory, and power to the only Holy, Holy. Take it up, Sandy. Take it up now. Take it up.
to the Holy One, 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 to the Holy One. Share what you just said. As God was giving me words about Kim, I just felt God say, it's time right now. It's the season right now for God to have him walk across this platform and start declaring things into existence in this church, in this atmosphere, and for things to shift, for things to change. He has authority, and he is going to walk across this church, and he is going to proclaim it to come forth. I just call God's kingdom into this church, into my life. I call my, I call my mind and my heart to walk humble before all men. I will walk humble before all people. Out of my mouth will not come curses, but blessings. I will speak the life of God. I declare that the life of God is here in everyone. And I curse any works of Satan that is embedded in the hearts of any man, woman, or child in this building. Any work of Satan that is embedded in my heart, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I have a circumcised heart. My heart is circumcised. My thoughts are now God's thoughts. The greater one, the greater one is here. We have the power to cast down every argument, every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. How dare any thought come into us that is not of God. We take you and we bind you and we tell you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Our eyes have vision. My eyes have vision. My sons, my sons are going to be world changers. They are giants. My sons are giants. Josiah, Jacob, and Benjamin are giants in the kingdom of God. What Satan has made, tried to use to destroy us. God is going to turn it around for His glory. Ah. Our mouths will declare the glory of God. All haughtiness, all naughtiness is tied and bound. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare purity in our hearts. We will not try to exalt ourselves for selfish ambition because selfish ambition has been crucified. It's no longer I that live, but it's Jesus that lives within me. In this life that I now live, I live by faith and not by sight. He has given us wings as eagles to mount up on high places, to soar in Zion. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Sometimes we have to laugh in faith. 
<laughs> Say it once and it's joyous. We've got a laugh in faith. <laughs> you know why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. <laughs> we are strong in the Lord. Strong in Him and in the power of His might. <laughs> in Him, in Him, in Him. Engrafted in Him. <laughs> that means we're in the Holy Spirit too. <laughs> we're in the Father's love. We're not outside. We're engrafted into the Father's love. Yes. Ha 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 ha. Give God praise in this house. We'll never be the same. We'll never be the same again. He'll never be the same again oh hallelujah he'll never be the same again oh God he'll buy so hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Ooh. Can somebody say, I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. You have scratched the surface of your destiny. Young lady, I know I prophesied to you, but the call of God in your life is so powerful, so rich. You are so different than anybody I've seen. Your age, your stature, your measure. And there's a world changer locked up on the inside of you. My God. I don't know what you're gonna, exactly how you're going to do it, what you're going to be implementing, but what you implement is going to be powerful. I know you're going to begin to step into another measure. And it's going to be a measure of gathering. And what you gather to you is going to be what you gather. is going to be what you're going to raise up. Because you understand that there's an army that has to be raised up. That's going to have to be ready to face what's in life. My God, you could have been born. You could have been born any time in history. But God chose for you to be born in this hour to be who you are at the age you are in this year of December 2014. You are here with purpose for reason and destiny. And I'm excited to see what happens in you. Ooh. Nobody lose to victory. It's only 1230. The cafe is open. I'm going to close out in a word of prayer. And I'm going to ask Sandy to take us back to the high place as you guys shake hands and go get some food and some tea. Father, we thank you for what you've done today. Well, you're just going to have to give me a second. Melanie, this is the third time I'm drawn to you. and I don't even know what, what I got, but I just want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus... Every seed she's sown, I've seen that there has been a harvest that's coming forth from seed sown, but these seeds were seeds of tears. And the Lord says there will be a harvest of heart's desire that's going to come forth from the tears that you have shed. Father, I pray that you will 
give her dreams at night. And remove the sickness of heart from hope deferred. Remove it. Renew her dreams. Renew her dreams. Renew her desires. Renew her hope. It shall spring forth. It will happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heather, has anybody ever said they've seen an angel with you before? And if so, did they describe to you what he looked like? You don't remember. As I was praying for Melanie, I looked over at you and I seen, I was asking God what it was because I was thinking, is that her husband? Because what I saw, I was thinking, is that, is that her husband that I'm seeing? And I feel like the Lord said, no, that's her, that's her angel. But he corresponds. I don't know how it ties together about who God's going to send you. And what I saw was a, a taller man, probably about 6'2", 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", somewhere around there. Taller than you, taller than me. He was darker in skin. He didn't look to be African, but he was darker in skin. Had a dark head full of hair. Good looking man. Very built, very strong. And the Lord says, your angel. But there's a reflection of what he's appearing as to show me, I believe, who is going to come into your life that is going to be walking in. And I see this as a man that's dressed nice, a man that's dressed for success, a man that is mature, a man that knows who he is, a man that has no doubts or insecurities about who he is. You will not marry into the immature and you will not marry into poverty, but you will marry up and you will become the queen of his life. I don't know what you're looking for, but he's going to sweep you off your feet. And what the Lord is saying is that angel that I saw, he was, he was stationed to you to keep you from falling into the traps of the others that you could have hooked up with. That would have ruined your life. And all you're going to be able to say when it happens is hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are good. And your mercy has endured forever. Hallelujah, church. You dismiss. Go to the cafe. Enjoy each other's company. Maybe the conference is going to start here Wednesday night. It's going to continue at another place. Take it up, Sandy, please.